All right. Hey, everyone. The numbers are in for Splash in Panama City Beach for July 2022. I'm Craig Duran with the Duran Group over at Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. I haven't run the specific numbers or at least recorded a video about the specific numbers for Splash since May 10th. So this I'm going to go in this video. I'm going to go through specific market activity in Splash so you can see what's happening. I'm also going to go through the overall market. Um, if you really like data, uh, I just published a post on the website, a blog post going through what 18 economists have to say about where the housing market may be headed nationally. So check that out if you want to look at data. Uh, again, also please, feel free to share this with anyone you think um, likes to digest splash specific information. Um, I know a lot of people aren't on our distribution list. We don't have everyone's email. So uh, feel free to share it with those who are um, like to follow the market. So let's get right into it. Uh, we have been watching, if you guys know, I'm a big fan of this chart. We've been watching the overall supply levels, how many condos are for sale in Panama City Beach for some time. Uh, this is the overall market. So we're going to start here. The red line, again, remember, represents, <laughs> I'm drawing it with my mouse on the screen. Uh, the red line represents the number of units for sale. And so look at what's happened just since January of this year. We've gone from January when we had 33 condos for sale across the entire beach to now we have over 200. Um, you can see that's a pretty dramatic jump if you're following uh, any kind of charts. The, the biggest takeaway from this is this months of inventory number. Remember, four or five months of inventory is a neutral market where prices would stabilize. Anything over that is very much buyer's market. And take a look at this. We're in a buyer's market in the condo market for the first time in at least two years. I'd have to go back uh, further than that to even see when the last time was when we were at five or six months of inventory. 8.6 months of, very, of inventory is very much a healthy buyer's market. Uh, look at this a couple different ways. 0.51 months of inventory is where we were in January. We're now at 8.67. We've jumped from 3.52 last month to 8.67. A few different, a few different ways to think about that. We were so hot in January, we were selling condos almost in about a half a month. Uh, we're now 16 times slower than we were in January. We're twice as slow as we were in June, and in June we were already slowing down just a little bit. So, a couple things to keep in mind. First of all, July um, is not. It, it's not unusual to write fewer contracts on condos in the month of July for a couple of reasons. Uh, plenty of us are on summer vacation. Uh, we're not doing as much business. Uh, also, it's very difficult to get in and actually see different condos. Buyers may be interested in doing something, but so many of these are rented. And so it's hard to get in and take a look. Um, so it's not unusual that the market's a little softer, a little slower in July. What will be interesting to see is August and September. Um, usually we'll write a few more uh, deals in August and September. We'll have some more condo sales. So will that 8.67 number stay around that? Will we drift back into about neutral range? Uh, where is that number going to move? The next 30 or 60 days are really going to tell us a lot. Um, in Splash specifically, there's not that much data to analyze, but you can see very generally we do have more supply than we did earlier in the year. Um, again, not as much in, uh, data to look at, but we are trending in the same direction of the overall condo market, not surprising. So going back, I haven't pulled numbers again in a video uh, for about 90 days or so. So here are some specific numbers um, that we could check these out. Uh, going back, this is going back to May 10th. So we did have a one bedroom, two bath that's closed for, for 455. One's on the market for 489, another one's on the market for 499. Considering that we've leapt to 8.67 months of inventory and we're very much in buyer market territory, um, you can sort of see just looking at those three units uh, what might be going on here and why uh, we may have some problems getting these moved. Uh, we did have a closing at 569 on one of the two bedroom units. One's just come back on the market asking the same price. Another one's asking 580 is still for sale. In the three bedrooms, we're asking 950, 975, 995, and 1.129. No recent sales since May 10th and any action in any of that. So um, sort of short and sweet this month. Um, we do have more competition in Splash. So if you're thinking about selling, um, there are a few more competitors in each one. Not a ton, 
Uh, I just ran the numbers over in Calypso and there's something like 50 some units for sale over there. So uh, Splash isn't as dramatic as that, but you can see generally in the Calypso or in the condo market, things are softening up quite a bit. Um, check out the blog if you want to check out those economist uh, projections. Uh, check out the YouTube channel if you want to see more data analyzation. I'm going to do like 13 condo projects in neighborhoods and see how they differ, how they're similar. Um, we're also going to start uh, adding to our library kind of some tips of things you need to be thinking about when you're selling, when you're buying to hopefully help uh, not just you, but maybe friends, family, anywhere in the country, really. So hope this helped you. Uh, please share it with anyone you think might want, uh, might benefit from it. And uh, we'll see you next month.